Hey, hey, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So it's time for the package from China. But this time we're going to do a different like kind of video. I just want to do a quick recap, but also like how is this thing nowadays? What do we mean with nowadays? It's very simple. So the Super Mini Mega Drive is the one that we're going to take a close look at. Because it's more like of a lineup of the mini devices that was like not super bad, but also not super awful. But what are we going to get? And is this thing still worth picking up? So let's find out. <laughs> but when you're looking at this device, it's quite interesting in many different ways. To begin with, I've reviewed a lot of these, like say, Sega Genesis Mini clones, and most of them have like AV out, but this one comes with an HDMI functionality. Also have the option to even add your games through a TF card. But the question remains, how good is the emulation? Because that is the part they really love to like mess it up all the freaking time. It's quite annoying sometimes, but you never know. So let's give this thing a chance. Well, that's what we're going to get in the inside. To begin with, we're going to get ourselves the toilet paper metal. But this time, we do have some information that we can use. To begin with, in the inside, here it says, like, create a game folder in a TF card or the micro SD card that we're going to plug into the device if you want to. And through this way, you can basically add new games. But that's it, like, there's not a lot of information, but they add, basically, like, they totally tell you how to do this. Because if you don't make this main or game folder, it doesn't recognize the freaking games. Okay, so in the inside we do get the controllers and the system, so let's pull it out. Let's see where we're going to get more. We're going to get ourselves the typical 5 volt cheap charger, or better said like this, a phone charger 5 volt. We do have like the adapter, and then we have like the HDMI cable, a very long one. So here we do have the Plastic Fantastic with two controllers, and the controller, oh boy. I can tell you like that's always like the other problem. But this thing feels really cheap, especially when it comes to the buttons over here. Oh man, it feels like horrible like there are like these these tiny dots on the controller that is even hurting my freaking thumb so then we have like the d-pad over here it's like the floating d-pad like with the original controller but it feels quite nice to have the mode button over here so it does have like a lot of functionality like the original one but the quality wise is absolutely garbage compared with the original one absolutely yep 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 but the system itself that is quite interesting because it looks kind of cool like even for displaying this thing is just fun to have if you have like a statue or sonic statue i'm having and you can just display it beside it because these things are not super expensive they're way cheaper than the original one and i think they released it even before the original sega mini version that you can pick up we do have like a working reset and an on and off the the way how this thing looks is not bad at all we do have an led under here there was no way of like open the valve over here like the original one have these these like cheap yeah i would say almost cheap but the extension like the 32 week stuff like that you can buy for it, but you cannot use it over here hdmi out the tf card or a micro sd card in and of course the micro usb for connection but let's take a close look at this system itself because we do have the original ports we have shitty controllers and hey this thing is already getting loose let's put this thing back and let's play some all right so let's boot it up and let's see what we're going to get with this device because i'm very curious now oh Okay, that is something new. So with the previous model, I was going to get this more like a built-in multi-game card, but this is something completely different. Ooh. All right, so let's take a close look at the games. They are on alphabetic order, as you can see over here. Okay, the D-pad is super responsive. All right, so June 2, Duke Nukem. I'm guessing this is a homebrew game. So I think it will be a mix of everything. This is not our typical multi-game card. It's a very strange collection. So we're having Sonic Mega Mix, Sonic 2, Sonic 3, Sonic the Hedgehog, okay. Tekken 2. And you can see when you're pressing right and left, you go to the next page. You need to press down to go to the next row. Tekken Special 3 and Tekken 2 versus, I'm guessing it was the Virtual Fighter homebrew game. So as you can see over here is that there are quite some different games on it. Okay, and we have the SD function. Let's press start or A. Uh, it doesn't do anything, but there was no SD card in it. I'm getting the idea there's more kind of a Russian version or something like that. Because all the texts are different. Yeah. Wow. Okay, let's go. Ooh. Yeah. 
Don't write, don't write. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Oh, this game is freaking hard as hell. One, two, three, here it goes. Got the bastard. But you're getting the point. Oh, that's really cool. You can hear the sound is not original, it's not like it should be. So the image quality itself, the image quality itself is not bad at all. But when you're looking at the speed of the emulation, you can see it runs pretty choppy. Look at this. And for the people wondering, can you use an original controller on this Mini? Yeah, you can plug it in, but this is what's going to happen when you're doing this. So, yep, it doesn't work. Okay, so in the next part, we're going to do a teardown just to see what's inside this mean machine. Or better said, this little mean fake not working perfectly machine. Okay, the only thing that we need to do is uh, remove the rubbery feet and we're going to grab ourselves a screwdriver. Oh, I'm touching my microphone. Crap. Put it in the right position. <sighs> Limited space here, people. Limited space. Zoo, let's -a go. Let's -a go. Let's remove this little screw. Let's -a see what we get with the package from China. Okay, so let's take a close look inside. All right, there's not a lot of stuff to talk about. My we have some more screws to remove. Okay, let's see. Let's remove this bad boy. Yep. And let's remove this one. So what we're going to get is just a very basic HDMI version. Like the previous versions I've reviewed with the AV out function. Of course, this thing has a new mainboard, but I'm very curious of what kind of software are they running? Are they running on Linux? Are they running on Android? I think there was something and will not get an answer from when I removed all of them or i thought i was removing all of them but i still need to remove this one okay so as you can see here the pcb is just for the controller ports and all the other stuff but i just want to see here what kind Ooh, this is not looking great all right so this is what we're going to get inside the monkey king 3b in the middle of the video i told you this is like a fun novelty and i think this is just actually what it is so when it comes to the functionalities there will always be something they like manage to mess up and I don't know if they don't give a shit about it or they don't. I'm more like they want to slap something off a device on the market and never look at it again. This happens a lot. So there was always somebody saying that there was something they mess up. I really love the way you can add games. Super easy plug and play. We have HDMI capabilities, micro USB. So basically you just can plug it into your like say 5 volt adapter or maybe some TVs even have the support for it. It's a funny device with some limitations because especially when you're looking at the software itself you have limitations over here because you cannot do a lot of things with it the controller you already mentioned it it's not like the original one but i thank you for watching consider subscribing hit that little bell become on the wicked family and it would be great to see you in the next video